What is a ground cover? Well, ground covers, in garden speak, can be gravel, pebbles, bark chips, but most of us think of ground covers as living plants. They can be ground hugging or prostrate and generally grow below knee height. Ground cover plants have many purposes, one of which is to suppress weeds, but the most important one is to keep valuable moisture in the soil. You could almost call them nature's living mulch. In this month's magazine, I've included an article which talks about placement, benefits and management of ground cover plants. We also look at what to plant for various garden situations, such as covering an unsightly area or softening a retaining wall, and also where they grow best, whether full sun, dappled light or shade. Now, this is a plant that covers a multitude of gardener's sins. It will grow anywhere and it loves full sun. It's Gazania. It's from South Africa and it really has had a bit of bad press over the last few years. Why? Because people cut it back and then dump it out in the paddocks and it escapes as a pest plant. So if you've got it growing at home and it's a fabulous plant to have in a pot or in the garden, cut it back, put your cuttings either in your compost bin or your green bin and there's no problems. Now, other ground covers I love are the native Coria decumbens. It's a hardy, very low growing plant with spectacular little red flowers. Also a plant that works very well here in South Australia is the rampant Osteospernum. It's just perfect if you want to cover an ugly sunny area of your garden and it flowers prolifically and is easy to manage with regular pruning. And another hardy favourite, the beautiful purple flowers of the low-growing form of Hardenbergia, especially effective when planted in groups. Other popular ground covers are the common violets and Alstromeria. Their peeling yellow flowering sedum works well in pots or in the garden, as does the very hardy mass-planted bedding variegated geranium. Now, just a word of warning though, don't turn your back on them for too long. Ground covers are generally tough plants which look after themselves, but they can get away from you. They need a good pruning once or twice a year and the odd handful of fertiliser to keep them contained and in good condition. There are just so many plants that you can use for ground covers. So it can be a bit overwhelming, I know. So why don't you take a photo of the area that you want to cover, take it into your local nursery, and ask one of the experts for their advice. And you know what? They really point you in the right direction.